Today we're going to put a brand new hard drive in a tower. And this tower was purchased at a garage sale uh, for $30. It's a what, Studio XPS. Um, it's a pretty good one, really. It's not that old. Made by Dell. Um, but anyway, a guy at a garage sale said they uh, took out the main hard drive, but other than that, it's fine. So, this case has one screw right there. Pull that out, and this cover comes off. And oh boy, looky, looky. Here's your power supply. Here's some media drives. These are actually Blu-ray and a, just regular DVD player. Here's your video card, some other cards. This down, this is the fan that uh, cools down the processor there. Here's some RAM chips. And on this main board is called the motherboard. Most people know all this stuff, but there's always new people. And all these mess of cables really just hooking up two cables. One is the data cable, and uh, and the other one would be a power cable. And the power cables come out of the power supply, and the other cables. This is an SATA cable and that goes on to the hard drive and right down to the motherboard looks a little loose on there so I'll push it in a little harder make sure it's seated right yeah it should be good okay the hard drive we're going to install is a Seagate it's one terabyte one TB SATA drive and uh, Oh, the size is 3.5 inches. If it says 2.5, that's uh, usually a laptop drive, and it's not what you want. You want a 3.5 inch drive. So this is available from Best Buy for about 75 bucks. All right, and here it is. And they gave you power cable, some screws, and the um, SATA cable, which I guess we're just going to use the screws here. All right. Okay, here you can see this is where the power attaches. Here's where your other cable attaches. So let's pick a power cable, shall we? What a mess. Before I uh, close this up, I'll tuck these in kind of nice. I don't really want all these just messing around everywhere. Get some out of the way. Don't need this one either. All right, we can use one of these here on this one. And all the rest are not necessary. Move those out of the way. Here's the blue cable. All right. So I'll just jump onto the first one here. Goes on like that. And this one the same way. Like that. Looks like this can mount right here. There's one, two, three, four screw holes there. Super easy.
Yours might have a tray and be lined up the same way as that. So could be different on your setup. Probably is. Not a lot of the computers are exactly the same. And as always, you want to do this unplugged. Or bad things will happen. Can happen. If you drop a screw onto a board like this one, and it uh, short circuits something, that'd be pretty bad. There's no reason to do this plugged in. All right, one, two, three, four screws. Easy. I'm just going to tuck the wires in. There's a lot of room here, so I'll push them all up front here. There we go. Don't want them near the fan. They'll just collect a lot of dust and stop the air movement, or at least slow it down. Okay, good. And take the cover. Slide it back on and put in the screw. And then next we uh, load on an operating system. So if you need help doing that, watch the next video. Thanks for watching.